just anything you got legendary Kobe story man one that comes to mind we was in Charlotte I never told you so we was in Charlotte and we was in the huddle and he was like uh the game was tied it was only like four seconds three seconds on the shot clock and um you know Rudy T is like drawing up all type of shit on the board and he swiped it off again and he and Kobe said fuck that just give me the ball right here and uh he was like whoever want to take the ball out will be part of history <laughs> and uh Lamar was like I want to be part I'll of go history. grab the ball <laughs> alright give me the ball he threw that shit in man Kobe hit the shot blouse this game it was just like I was like I looked at him he was just like like winked his eye in the moment like yo just whoever want to be a part of history just throw the ball in. this shit's <laughs> over but that was that was him. Like right. that was best three players of all time. Best three players of yeah. all time. Yeah. OG was definitely uh, Michael different. Jordan, uh, uh, Dr. J, Larry Bird. That is tough. You give me three. I, I know. Oh my God, three. Uh, uh, yeah, Larry Bird, Dr. J, Michael Jordan. Thank you for for joining us. Do you think you can bench more than DK Metcalf? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> there was a little hesitation in that. Okay. Yeah, it was it was yeah. well, what do you bench? Five, five hundred pounds. Oh shit! Oh shit! <laughs> what? <laughs> I can change my answer from early. Yeah. <laughs> you said three fifty before you got here. Oh, that's it. Yeah, oh, that's, <laughs> it. <laughs> that's it. Are Come you on, serious? Bro. Yeah. 500? What's wrong with you? Oh my God. I'm working on a long time. Damn. <laughs> Break down this top five, dude. <laughs> I got Devontae at one. I got Ken at two. Stefan at three. I got Coop at four. And I got Jets at five. I ain't gonna lie, five was a battle between Mari and OBJ and Jets. Another true pro, he, he left himself off the top five. True pro, but true he pro. know he's him. He's him. Appreciate and, uh, it, thank you. Thanks. I want to know what happened from halftime all the way up until that confrontation with Bruce Aarons. So leading up to that week, I'm like, I walked through Wednesday and I'm like, yo, I ain't got it. Let the trainer know, like, yo, man, my, like, yo, I'm hobbling, like, I really can't get it going. So I let the coach know, training staff, everyone. I wake up uh, Sunday morning, we have a walkthrough with Tom. I get to the game. You know, we playing the game. So now it's like the third quarter. I'm on the bench like, yo, I can't, I can't go. But I see the coach, like he look back like he's, like he, you know, he came to me. So I'm thinking maybe he gonna come and ask me like, yo, what it is? He came Check like, could you go? I'm like, nah, I can't go. So he like, yo, get the out of here, you're done. Just to be clear, you would not force a player to play. You can't force a player to play. You can't force a player to play. I mean. They, they have that choice. It's their body. So it was Sunday Night Football, right? I remember I'm chewing again. So I remember the play, and I'm just seeing the ball in the air, and it's something I've seen hundreds of times. Same spin, same thing I practice. He started grabbing me. I use his momentum, throw him off, to catch it with my the one hand the catch. The one hand catch was born on Sunday night. Is a disgusting act by Randy Moss. <laughs> Boy, you went. You did power, like, baby. That's the power of the word disgusting. Well, you didn't like it. I didn't like. I thought it was. I can see it player to player. <laughs> what hit me hard was he went to the end zone and and mooned the fans and then acted like he was pulling his pants down. And then went over to the goalpost. I thought that's different. It was over the line. That is a disgusting act by Randy Moss, and it's unfortunate. That we had that on our air live. That is disgusting by Randy Moss. Rich, you don't write checks. If you don't write checks, how do you pay these guys? Straight cash, homie. I like bad basketball is my favorite sport. I almost quit football to play basketball because I was starting point guard my freshman year in high school on varsity basketball, and I was playing freshman football, and so I was kind of starting to lean towards basketball. And then, so what made you say I got to do football? Well, all of a sudden, I had this awesome sophomore season in football and I was like oh, I'm pretty good at this football thing I might as well that the first time I went to the star like I said it had nothing to do with it had nothing to do with Dallas it had nothing to do with Emmett Smith 
And again, I, I've, I've asked people to go back and watch the game. The first time it was cool, I did it. I was giving thanks to God for, for, for what I did. Um, I had kind of like the, the day before, uh, two days before, um, I realized we were on the field. You know, we, the day before, we, a couple of days before we played a game, we yeah. go, we practice on that field. And so we broke down the huddle. And our receivers, we just happened to be in the middle of the star. So I just got creative. I'm like, oh, man, if I score tomorrow, I'm going to come right here. So that's what I did. So the second time when I went to the star, that was really kind of out of retaliation. But the reason I did that, it had nothing to do with Emmett Smith. It was because, and the reason George T came and hit me was because I blocked him through, probably through the back of the end zone. He didn't make the play. He was mad. He was upset. I'm serious. Once the ball got kicked, I'm locked in on the jumbo try and I'm watching the structure of it break down and it has got my attention. Yeah. And I'm looking at, oh, man, I'm walking at it, and I'm looking. And I'm in my mind, I'm thinking he's going up their sideline because the Jumbotron pitch is backwards. I didn't realize I was in danger, man, until I saw myself <laughs> on the Jumbotron. <laughs> hey, dude, no joke. Yeah. Um, I saw myself <laughs> on the Jumbotron. I dodged Jacoby because I saw myself. Who got the strongest arm? Tua or Pat Mahomes? Tua or Patrick Mahomes? Obviously, like I'm, I'm gonna go with one five as the, the strongest arm. But as far as accuracy wise, I'm going with Tua all day. So which one would you rather have? The deep ball where you got to scramble around the field to try to go find it? Or nah. do you want that accuracy to hit you right in the bread basket on the run? I want it to hit me right in the bread basket, just like I did in the Buffalo Bills game and take it seventy. And the rest is history. And again, this is not a shot at anybody, right? It's just stuff that had to be said. It right? needed to be said. It needed so let's to be say said. Which is the DB you hate playing against the most? Tom? It's been DB I hate playing against the most. Yeah, 22 um, years. What do you think? 24, 25? In years. my history or just this? this history. Year? History. DB, uh, Ed Reed. Play. Yeah, Ed Reed. Ed Reed was. Show, if you haven't seen him, go watch him. The guy was unbelievable. And uh, yeah. yeah, played as good as any secondary play in history. Ed Reed. Great player. Aaron? I'm going to say a guy who I would put up there right with him is, is uh, Charles Woodson. Charles was the best player I played with and gave me fits when I was uh, working on the, on the scout team every week. What do he pick you off in practice? Oh, yeah. And then he'd run the ball right to you and hand it back it. to you. Love it. Pat? Uh, probably Jalen Ramsey. I'd probably say for me. A pretty good guy. Pretty good player. Fast. Big. Yeah, pretty good. Loves, loves to talk a little trash, too. So... Pretty good player. Yeah. He's a pretty good player. Josh? Tredavious White of the Buffalo Bills. All right, there you go. There. Devin, what guy on this team would you least like to date your sister? What the hell? Diggs. Oh, Stefan Diggs. You said to date my sister Diggs. 100%. What guy on this team would you least like to date your sister? And, and I might add, you're starting to be the runaway favorite for this. Would nobody want me to do this, is it? I'm a great guy. I'm actually a great there's, guy. There's actually, it seems to be a few guys that don't think you that. feel differently about me? Yeah. They just don't know me well enough. That's what it is. It's the appearance. Week 12, Saints at Rams. 429 in the second quarter. Second and seven on the Saints seven. What happens? Oh, Josh Reynolds touchdown off schedule play versus three man rush. You're absolutely Are right. Are you kidding me? You're unbelievable. This is Sean McVay's time in Washington. Oh, no. So we're bringing like it. it back to 2015 week seven. Bucks at skins. Yep. Second and seven on the Tampa Bay 24. 58 seconds left in the fourth quarter. Jamison Crowder wheel route down the right sideline. <laughs> Jamison Crowder, we were out down the right sideline, set up the first down, and then how did that drive end? Jordan Reed touchdown and a four by one individual ISO slant. And what meme was that game? You like that. <laughs> He's good. He's real good. Check out the brain on Sean. You're amazing. It's haunting, man. I, it's something I just had to do. Um, when we played him earlier, you know, Hill went off on us. He backflipped in front of my face, gave me the peace sign. So it was only right that I gave him the peace sign right back to him. At this moment, it felt amazing to be able to do that. Not even going to lie.